everyone, my name is Natalia and yes, we are standing in front of my teeny tiny bathroom because I'm starting a new series, not only involving my bathroom, but it's a series that focuses on tips you can do if you don't know how to transform a teeny tiny bathroom into something amazing or have a hard time falling asleep or don't know how to throw all things away, I'm going to show you some tips you can do. And I'm sorry about the echo or the bad lighting, but I just could not fix it, so I hope it's not too bad. So today I'm going to show you how to transform this teeny tiny bathroom into this. So if you're ready, stick around to get the tips you need and let us just get started. First things first, clean the bathroom. It's so much more fun to redecorate when it's clean. If you also have a small bathroom, dark curtains is just a no-no because it sucks all the light out and makes it even smaller. So take it down and find something lighter, with a motif on it perhaps. Beautiful! Now to visible and cluttering devices, like hair dress and straighteners, just remove them all. Now remove the basic hanger and put up something more interesting. And if you're like me and a drill is a foreign object, ask someone who knows more about it. Now to store the hair dryer and straightener and any other device, take a shower curtain rod and then place it behind the door on the wall. If you want to see if the rod is straight or not, don't go all mathematician on it. Just use the carbon dust level to see whether it's horizontal or not. The bubble will tell the truth. The shower curtain rod is also a good thing if you don't want to drill in between the tiles. You could take S-like hooks like these and then place your hairdryer and straightener on them and then place them on the shower curtain rod. Now they won't be as visible because they are hidden behind the door. Now another place you can use a shower curtain rod is in the shower itself. This is to distribute the showering products so they aren't cluttered in one corner. So remove everything. So take the rod and then hang it on the wall. This particular rod needed some screws to really hang on the wall, so be sure to check that out before hanging anything on it. Unless you're really a perfectionist, no need for any calculations. Just use the carpenter's level as before. You can use a flowering pot like this for razors, brushes or anything you use in the shower. As mentioned, this is a flowering pot with a homemade hole in it made by a hammer and nail. Then hang it on the rod and then fill it with anything you need in the shower. Now these sponges can hang on something really unique, like a deer. So find the perfect spot and let it hang. No shower is without soap. These are just some basic plastic containers with some permanent marker. At first I tried some italic letters, but I wasn't happy with it. Then I found some husband and wife formal images and they were just perfect. Then I filled up the jars with his and hers showering gel. It fits perfectly! And to liven up the space a little bit more, you can put a plant inside the shower. Just make sure it can cope with the heat, or place a fake one like this. Do you have a radiator like this that just takes up all the space? You can make it more usable by hiding it with a shelf. This is a long shelf that I sewed in the right measurements for the radiator, and then I just put some self-adhesive oak-like foil on it. And I only cover the top, because the radiator is right underneath it, so it might just create some lumps and bumps because of the heat. But make sure there's enough space between the radiator and the shelf, so the heat can escape. Then decorate the shelf with anything you want, and you can even put a plant on it, but make sure that it can cope with the heat and moisture in the bathroom. An orchid is a very good choice. If you have a small and annoying mirror like this, and if you're able to, change it into something much larger. This will also make the room seem bigger. And again, decorate it with anything you want to that can keep up with the heat. And if you're not allowed to throw the interior of the bathroom away, store it somewhere safely. You don't want 7 years of bad luck, right? Now to the clutter, on the shelves and especially under the sink. So take a box and anything you don't need like sun lotion, put it in the box and store it away. It will seem like you have tons of space by clearing up your product clutter. So be gone. If you must have some products under the sink, use these floating wire baskets. 
And that's it! Now enjoy your beautiful new bathroom! I hope you enjoyed watching and I hope you found some tips you can use for your bathroom. If you did, leave a like. And um, if you have any ideas, suggestions or questions you want to ask me, leave a comment in the comment section down below and I'll show you the path afterwards. And if you want to see the upcoming videos, you subscribe and be a part of a lovely DIY family here and a little two box. So subscribe and I'll see you soon with my ideas. Bye!